What is up, YouTube? This is your boy dealing with another video. And welcome, Lakers Nation. Thanks for stopping by if you do. Oh, boy. This game was uh, left a lot left to be desired, to <laughs> say the least. Um, it just started off, you know, looking like the Lakers had a hangover after that double overtime game against the Warriors. And that was just very, 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 like, apparent right away because the Rockets just started running the ball just down our throat. It was like, you know, no pun intended. And just the energy was just off right away. You were like, yeah, the Rockets smell blood. So the Rockets just literally just came in and just, just hammered us in transition, second effort on rebounding, quick offense, you know, and they're a team that can score. I mean, people think the Rockets are a bad team, but honestly, they're, they're actually a lot better than they were last year. I think this, is, this, this game that they won uh, gives them more wins than they had last year, the whole year. So this wasn't an uh, easy game that was going to happen either way. And I already kind of felt like, if the Lakers didn't come out in the first quarter with effort that the Rockets are going to kind of run away with this, and that's exactly what happened. I don't like Dylan Brooks, you know, how he likes to antagonize players and things like that, but I do applaud his effort and his, like, ability to not back down from anybody. But, man, Jared Vanderbilt, we really needed you tonight, man. And uh, it was tough seeing him um, get tossed after that, uh, after after Dylan Brooks pushed him and he pushed him back. And then I think Vando was just frustrated with him in general because he got pushed on a dunk earlier which is understandable. I mean, you know, sometimes it's going to happen. Usually Vando's pretty chill. He's not really tripping like that. But I think Dylan Brooks has a, has a way of getting under people's skin. So it's definitely a learning lesson for a young player. Vando's only, like, what, 24 years old. You know, he's still learning. But the Lakers really need him, especially on nights like this where the energy is just super, super low. And there's not a lot of, like, effort and hustle. And Vando provides that all the time, no matter if he's tired or not. And that's the one thing I love about Vando. So, uh, yeah, um, the Lakers play the, the Hawks tomorrow. Um, hopefully we'll get this W so we can get back to 500. Well, or, 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 or I guess a game over 500 because we're, our loss tonight brings us back at 24 and 24. I was hoping they get the win because the Mavericks are right above us, but, you know, sometimes things don't always work out like that. So, uh, you know, All-Star break is coming. Much do need a rest. Hopefully we'll get Gabe Vincent back after the All-Star break. But we'll see how things go. Um, I thought that uh, Torian Prince played too many minutes again. I'm not knocking him as an overall player, but you can't start him on Jalen Green and expect Jalen Green not to get hot because he literally got hot automatically. So it's interesting to see how everything worked out in that game. So looking forward to um, seeing how the Lakers come out tomorrow. And if you guys like the video, like and subscribe and have a good night.